Hey folks, what's going on? Good morning and happy Thursday. I'm really confused in the days because I'm still thinking it's Tuesday now, but it's not. It's Thursday, which means tomorrow is Friday, which means it's the weekend, and then the boys go away for two days and we get a break. Woohoo! Anyway, I'm just gonna start by showing you something I have done over the weekend, the long four day weekend, which I hadn't included in the vlog is because it was, there was so much. But I think we'll still interest you. I started through Alfie's room and reorganized things a bit. So here is the footage of this. Alfie's room is not a room that he plays in at the moment. He just goes there whenever he goes to sleep. And I've been rotating the toys and every time I clear downstairs, I bring a toy box up here with everything in. I've also been <laughs> piling, I have a bag that I've been filling up with baby clothes that I can't get let go of. I can't get let no, I can't let go of. We have baby equipment. Basically, some stuff needs to be thrown out, some stuff needs to be packed to go to the attic, some stuff needs to be donated to charity. There's a lot of toys that are too babyish for him now that I want to donate. So here we have some of the boxes. This is almost all empty. Um but there we have this massive toy box. This is a bag with toys, there's a box with toys, there's a bag with toys, this is a bag where I've been putting the stuff to go to the attic gradually, this is when I cleared out the changing table, there's a, all of these things to be sorted out basically. And then I need to put the storage unit there, back in, rearrange the stuff a bit and then we have things to put his clothes up there, at the moment his clothes I keep all in a box, well in a basket in the utility room. He doesn't own that much clothes. Literally. Um, he was in between sizes when the seasons changed and I didn't want to buy too much because I knew in the summer he would need new clothes again so he doesn't have that much and I keep watch washing it all the time and then it ends up in the basket and it's handy to have it downstairs because if he needs a change of clothes quickly it's very easily accessible but it's starting to get very crowded in the utility room and bothering me so I just want to move back into here and the idea is to make it an area where you can safely play here if he wants to so that's what I'm going to tackle now I started through everything yay I need to clean the floor badly because I literally emptied the content of the boxes all over the floor to sort through them and the amount of dust in them is ridiculous but right so this is for charity we have this bottom box is full of toys this is of part of toys that I need to get. I'm sure there are parts under the couch, so I want to make them complete. This is all baby clothes that don't fit anymore. This is staying there. Uh, then I've moved all the books back in. I've put a box at the bottom because there's a lot of tiny books and they are really hard to fit everywhere. Then we need to fit to fix the steering wheel. It's up there of the car. And then there's a big change there. So up here. This is a box full of, this is the brand I use for the boys because they have, uh, both have eczema and I find this brand works really well but it's very expensive here so people bring it back to me from France when they come over so I have a box full of unopened one to use next so this is my toiletries for the kids box. <coughs> These are clothes that were Owens uh, that are in three to four, actually wears two to three at the moment, but in some of the little bird range, he wears three to four because its size is quite small. But this is all three to four clothes that were Owens and that I think will fit Alfie probably autumn time. Uh, but at least I don't want to pack them away and then having to look for them, so I've made a box with those. These are all um, shorts and things like that are in two to three that were Owens and obviously uh, it's not the season but I've left them here for this summer in case that's the size Alfie wears. If it is we actually have quite a bit of a choice because uh, there's like at the bottom there's four pair of shorts that I made for Owen at the time so if they fit that would be great because we actually have probably enough shorts for Alfie for this summer so we just have to buy t-shirts and then jumpers are in here, pajamas trousers, t-shirts and vests and socks and then here I've kind of put, oh this needs to, this is, I've stored all the batteries inside that. There we have the baby phone and the thermometer and this at the back is screws for the bed for whenever we take the side off 
um, with different screws that go in, so I'm just keeping them nice to, to not lose them. <coughs> this is all like wooden toys, so these beads, and these are all like, you know, like shapes, archers and stuff like that. Then his little house and his farm. There's kind of a random mix of things, of toys. Um, this, there's nothing, it's just my tablet at the moment, but he will be getting more toys uh, for his birthday from my parents, so some of the stuff will have to come up, so there is a free shelf. This is all like jigsaws and cubes and blocks and things. That's the the cover of his tent, which I don't know what to put. And then I've sorted all the boxes. So here we have all the pretend food. I think we're actually going to bring his kitchen back and put it around here. Soft toys, I'm limiting it to one box because he doesn't actually play with them a lot. Owen loves these soft toys and Owen has loads. But for Alfie, I've limited it to one box and I kind of, if I we get more and I keep them, I just rotate them. And this is all like vehicles and it's all toys that, there's like cars, there's that little monkey, like it's just a mix but that kind of go together. Then we have the Playmobil 1, 2, 3, big um, stuff that are up there and then... Playmobil 1, 2, 3 here, and Playmobil 1, 2, 3 here. These were all Owens, apart from the train station, I think, which she got. Most of them were Owens, and Owen used to play with them a lot. Alfie likes Lego Duplo a lot more. So, um, these are all the bricks, and then that's like all the people and the cars and stuff like that. And there, this is the Studio B Owens, and Alfie doesn't play with it much at the moment. It's the um, Little People by Fisher Price. So uh, these are there. Yesterday, I must have eaten something wrong, and the only thing I can think that could potentially be not good is I ate a salad from Little with some Caesar sauce, and I'm thinking the sauce maybe. There's nothing that I ate, nothing else I ate during the day that I could think like could be not fresh or something like that. So. I ended up being really sick last night. It didn't last, like it lasted like for quite a few hours. And then once it was out of my system, that was it. I still have an upset stomach, like not as it's upset, but you know when it's been upset and you're still feeling a bit meh and crampy and all that. So I'm not too sure what it was, but I think it was a food related thing because it was just violent for a few hours and then that was it. So I think I just needed to get whatever I put out of my system. It wasn't really nice, so I'm a little bit wrecked, but I have a lot of work to do. So I'm going to have to push through. And she is finishing his night on the couch. He tends to do that at the moment. He doesn't see very well at night, but then he goes back to sleep on the couch. When he's watching Stumpy on his tablet with a blanket. And my laptop is sitting there because I've just edited the vlog from the last three days. So, we are just out of Tesco's. Uh, we came in because I was going to order the food shopping for the week and I want to work out a meal plan for Weight Watchers and I figured I'm not going to start before Monday. I haven't had the chance to do the meal plan and by the time I would have had time, if I did, to work it out, it would be past the time I need to order for tonight's delivery. So what I did is that we all came to Tesco's and we got things for the next couple of days so it gives me two days to work out the meal plan and at the weekend James and I can do the shopping for the week so that's what's gonna happen we also bought some new flowers for the kitchen because my mother's day flowers went in the bin at the weekend they actually I mean I've been removing the flowers that they were dying but they are they were they did pretty well and I got a really nice bouquet which I'm really happy with so I'm going to show you and Owen bought, bought something with the money from the tooth fairy well not that but he got a juice because he was really thirsty and really thirsty too. Uh, but he also picked something from the money with the money from the tooth fairy. So we can show you when we get home. But there will be a little bit of building involved. So we can see what it is. So Owen picked one of the Lego minifigures with his money from the tooth fairy. So we're going to see which one he's going to get. It was, it definitely will be a Batman thing. Right, hold on. Oh, wait, don't, don't look yet. Just check the paper and see which one, if you could pick which one, which one would you want? I think I would like... I would like Robin, 
all the Batman fairy. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like? Uh, that one and that. that one. Good. Let's see what I get then. Okay. I think it, it will be the fairy. Do you think so? Look, it's like the, it didn't look like it. Did I empty everything down? No, it's not. Oh, I can see which one it is now. Oh, wait, don't don't lose pieces because otherwise we're not going to be able to build it. It's this one you got. Hey, this is your face. Are you happy? Okay, right. What do we have next? So, yeah. Do you like them? Yeah, I love it. Can I see it closer with the camera? Up. Ta -da. And this. Oh. I'm having a massive fail moment right now, and I'm so annoyed and angry. So I'm gonna vent. Um, in my kitchen, so in this drawer, we have like the bin bags and the stuff, like the dishwasher stuff and all that. I had a bottle of. I'm gonna show you because it's still in my bin. This. As you can see from the color of the bottle and all, yeah. so you can get what happened to that bottle inside the drawer. I only notice now that literally the bottle and the bleach literally is splashed everywhere. So I'm gonna do different things. First of all, the bottom of the thing is completely damaged, and we got the kitchen only in September, so that annoys me. But next, I have some sparkly socks that I got in my little box. This one, and I have a massive bleach stain at the front, but they are my latest socks. But even more annoying, do you remember the top I bought in Evans with Sam? My navy blue, which I was wearing earlier. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I'm stuck in my laundry. Um, <clears throat> this lovely navy blue top. Well, look, it has platters of pink like this, and by the time I started to rinse it, it was too late. So that's my only. That's the only good t-shirt I own and it costed me 22 pounds and I thought it was a bloody big amount of money for Sorry for <laughs> like this, but it was a lot of money for what I usually spend on a t-shirt and I was willing to spend it as a treat for myself To make me feel better and now this is the t-shirt that's ruined I know it's only materialistic stuff, but it's really annoying me because That's my only nice outfit. Also my cardigan I was wearing my teal one which is my favorite cardigan. The whole uh, sleeve is now has a big white discolored stain. <sighs> and I burnt my whole hand because my skin cannot handle bleach. And it's just one of the things that happens really fast and you can't stop it. It just happened. I lifted the bottle, it went everywhere. And there's nothing I could do about it. <laughs> and I just, you know, when it happens in slow motion in your mind, you know exactly what's going to happen next. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. That. Also, I've been trying, I drove, after the schools, I drove for a full hour to get out of sleep. And still, that's where he is. So I'm now going to walk around the estate with the buggy. I'm going to bring my headphones and I'm going to listen to Snapchat and stuff like that to focus on something nice while I walk around with the buggy. It looks like it's going to rain. Yesterday I did the whole walk in the rain. So that's what I'm going to do again. But I need a break and it's only 20 to 3. So I need to get him to sleep because he needs to sleep. He's going completely crazy. So yeah, wish me luck. He's asleep. So now I'm going to try and calm myself down and take a 10 minute break before I start working so I can get stuck in. Oh my God, it's just been a very stressful um, afternoon so far. My belly is not cooperating and it's just bad. So... I'm just going to leave my camera aside, relax, do some work, and yeah, and relax. Good morning, it's Friday, and I thought I would show you the game of the moment. He pulls me like this, and what he wants me to do... What's going on? What's going on? Oh, what is it? You're falling. He wants me to fall on the couch, so that he can jump on me. And I didn't cooperate very quickly, so now he's putting a tantrum. Sorry of my life. Alfie! Alfie, come on! Come on! It doesn't work that way! Come on! Come on, come on! Um, 
it is just after 10 o'clock and um, I am knackered I don't know what's happening to my stomach over the past couple of days I thought it was food poisoning now I'm wondering if it's a stomach bug I don't know anyway I'm getting there not being sick anymore so that's something but I am drained and because of it I haven't slept properly the last three nights uh, so yeah I'm tired luckily the boys are off to their granny and granddad's for the weekend so I can rest then and get stuff done in the house but for today it's gonna be um, let's make it through this day alive kind of day <laughs> but yeah um, I am also updating my planners I'm kind of behind uh, I finished all my orders last night which I was very happy with uh, so that's all my open orders done. James is going to post them for me so I don't have to go to the post office today. And um, today I'm receiving something I'm really excited about. Uh, sorry, I have a hair in my mouth. Don't you hate it when you have a hair in your mouth? Anyway, I'm receiving a mini happy planner. So if you don't know what a happy planner is, it's a planner, a type of planner, another one. Um, it's a smaller version, it's about half the size of this big one, like this way. I'll show it to you when it arrives. But the reason why I ordered it. Well, the reason why I ordered it, I'm going to tell you the story of this planner. I fell in love with that planner when I saw it at my planner meetup. I love the designs inside and I will show you why in after. It's a lot of planners come in like really pink and pretty colors and all that. And I'm not a girly, super girly girl. I love green, red, purple, but like not a girly purple. Like, um, I like real colors or like when things are the real color they are in real life. Does this make sense? Anyway. Fell in love with that planner and um, got that hair. I got it. Um, the um, mini version is very nice and it's small and it's undated. So it means I can use it whenever I want. And if I don't use it for a few months, I can still use it later on. So um, for about a month, I debated whether I should get it or not. And still, I thought it's undated. I don't have a use for it right now. But if it because it's a collection that will come out of stock, I will regret it if I don't order it. I didn't order it. And one day, when I decided to uh, start like watching what I eat and all that, I thought I'm actually going to order it to do like a food diary, a food journal with like writing also exercise in it and all that, like a fitness journal to kind of track my weight and measurements and all that. I thought it would motivate me if I have something pretty to write everything in when she ordered it and it was out of stock everywhere which is always the way so I uh, signed up on one of the websites to their email notification and as soon as it came back in stock I ordered it and it's coming today I got an email to let me know so I'm really excited and probably perfect because I'm going to do my meal planning this weekend for it and it means I can use it then and it's great so I'm really excited about that and I will show it to you when it comes my little planner has arrived, look, so it's so pretty. I'm just going to show you quickly some of my favorite pages. Ah, uh, if I can get them. Look how pretty it is. I've added the month, it's undated, but I just use the right ones because um, it's all like seasonal stuff that I've drawn on. So yeah, I'll show you. Look, I love this so much. I'm so happy. Uh, and then I love this and I love this and look it's gold gold foil and then the best the best of the best Ta -da! I'm so happy about it so yeah I'm gonna use that as my uh, food tracker and exercise tracker if exercise I managed to fit in again because I'm still waiting to see a physio and specialist about some health issues and in the meantime I'm very limited in what I can do exercise wise so for a minute it will be a food tracker it's actually the next morning and I realized I never finished the vlog last night so this is what I'm about to do I'm not continuing the vlog today because I am going to do a weekend vlog and uh, yes so I hope you enjoyed this vlog I have no idea what I vlogged because <laughs> I can't remember but uh, hopefully it was nice I'm about to go and edit this and then start a baby free weekend which you will be able to watch on Monday night. See you then. Bye.